Hi guys and welcome to Drive Spark. I'm Promit and today we are in Bangalore testing this. Now this is the all new Tata Punch.ev and before we start this video let me tell you the pricing of this vehicle. So this vehicle was just launched at a price of rupees 10.99 lakh to be precise 11 lakh rupees ex showroom and it goes all the way up to the 15.5 lakh rupee mark. Again these prices are ex showroom. So let's quickly start this video and I'll tell you everything you need to know about this electric vehicle. So let's start off with the front design of the car. Now the very first thing you notice that this EV is actually based on the regular uh, ICE punch uh, that is already there in the market. So what's new over here? First of all, you can see you get a completely redesigned bumper and uh, also you have this DRL that obviously connects. Uh, it connects in the middle. This is the charging socket. You have the logo now. This is the new logo for the uh, EVs I think in the Tata lineup. Where you can see that the uh, logo is finished in black and this is white. It does not glow, but yeah, I mean, um, the sort of the chrome logo was looking kind of nice. But anyway, this is a nice touch that they have added. Also, you can see over here, you get a front parking camera. So again, this is a part of the 360 degree camera feature. And uh, again, hood lines and freezes are a little sharp over here. But you also get some storage space underneath the trunk that's a frunk. So it's basically a 12 litre uh, storage space where you can keep, I think, one handbag. Or if you want to keep the charger of the car, you can also store it there. Uh, and uh, as far as the lighting setup goes, you can see over here. So you have a single projector for the high and the low beam. And uh, this is your cornering light and your fog lights as well. So the complete setup is an LED setup and actually the car looks really nice from the front especially because the bumper has been tweaked now moving on to the side profile when you go to the side you will see that you have uh, dot ev written on the side door and uh, you have body cladding all over again you get these 16 inch dual tone five spoke alloy wheels now the tire profile is 19560 r16 so i would like to say that this car is available in five color options now all the colors are dual tone where you'll get uh, the body color and you'll get the roof in black so the pillars as you can see from front to the back is uh, finished in black. You get blacked out ORVMs. Again, you get a camera underneath the ORVM part of the 360 degree camera feature. You get your uh, LED DRLs. You do not get any chrome on the side whatsoever. You get roof rails that are kind of functional. You can attach uh, something on top of it. You also have a sunroof, a shark fin antenna. And you can see that the body cladding, I mean, there is a huge part of the door that is finished in this uh, plastic cladding. Uh, looks nice, looks neat. Again, you have 190 mm of ground clearance. Uh, so ground clearance is pretty decent. You will not bottom out on anything bad roads or even on speed breakers. Uh, and now let's move on to the rear section. So if you come to the rear section, you will first of all notice that this tail light is completely wrapped around. It's an LED tail light. So the tail light, as you can see, it's a mix and match of uh, this red and this smoky effect. You also have your punch.ev written over here that is finished in black and not in chrome. Same logo, uh, camera over here, parking sensors. Again, you have your uh, skid plates finished in this silver, wiper with a washer, defoggers and a high stop light. You do not get a spoiler, but yeah, I mean, this part is kind of looks like a spoiler, but if this would have come out a little bit, it would have given a much more sportier look to this car. Now talking about the boot, so to open the boot, you can either open it from your um, uh, key or from the inside or from the request sensor over here. So boot opens up thanks to the hydraulic struts. You have a 366 litre boot space. You do not get a 60-40 split whatsoever. If you want to fold down the second row, you'll have to completely fold it down because obviously there is no split. But you have decent amount of boot space, 366 litre that, that will accommodate at least four cabin bags. Or, I mean, you can mix and match with a handbag or cabin bag or whatever you want to keep and close the boot. I mean, the boot is a little heavy to close, but it shuts uh, comfortably. So now let's go on the inside and I'll tell you what do you get on the interiors of the all new Punch EV. So now let us sit at the rear seat where there is a little less space as you can see over here. So we have the rear seat of the Punch EV and as you can see my legs are touching. Uh, for reference, I am 6'1". This seat has been adjusted according to my height and I am not at all comfortable sitting at the rear section of this car. I mean, I don't know, there is there is decent under thigh support but leg room and knee room is just, you can see over here, it's just brushing all 
So you will not be comfortable uh, sitting with your legs slightly closed. You have to open them like this and sit. Uh, two people are comfortable. Three people will be cramped. You have two adjustable headrests. Uh, you again have a center armrest, but uh, cup holders and everything is missing over here. If you don't want it, you can just fold it up. You just get a space to keep your phone or your wallet and you get your magazine holder. That will, I don't know, that will fit a magazine or not because again, it's a very small holder as you can see from the size of my hand. So, yeah, I mean, there's very less space at the rear, but uh, let's go to the front and let's check that out. Okay, so now we have the front uh, seat of the Tata Punch and if you just see around, you will see that, uh, I mean, everything, the fit and finish quality is nice. Again, everything is hard plastic over here. It's a mix and match of, I think, uh, white and black and matte black. So let's talk about the seat first. So you can see over here, you have ventilated seat option. The button is over here. You get ventilated seats, not heated seats, but you get ventilated seats. Seats are very comfortable, the front seats. Uh, also, you get six airbags. I'll talk about that uh, when I'm driving the car, but yeah, you get six airbags standard across. Uh, over here around the AC vents, you can see you get this uh, slight uh, brushed aluminum kind of finish. You get a 10.25 inch screen over here, a 10.25 inch screen over there. And you also get this uh, illuminated logo that Tata offers with the car. So once the car is on, the logo will glow. Steering mounted controls over here. Two spoke steering wheel, flat bottom steering wheel. Very comfortable steering wheel, but steering wheel only has tilt option. It does not have a telescopic option. That's a really uh, sad thing because I mean, Finding the right driving position is very difficult without a uh, telescopic uh, steering wheel adjustment. Again, you have this panel over here. To It's a touch panel to basically control your AC and a lot of other features like 360 degree camera feature. You can open the charging socket that's right in the front where the front logo is. So you can open it from here and uh, you have cubby holes over here. You've got a type uh, A, you've got a type C, you've got a 12 volt charging socket. This is your dial. Now, if you see the dial, uh, this is uh, your digital dial, so this PRND written, whatever you want to select, you can rotate the dial and select it from here. Your uh, uh, bottle holders, again, I think this will only fit a half litre bottle. Some storage space for your key and this is again a cubby hole that does not have much space. Um, so yeah, I mean, there is storage space, a lot of storage space in this car, but I mean, um, it's very uh, restricted. So yeah, guys, this was the interior. So now let's go drive the car and I'll tell you how is the all-new Punch EV2 drive on the road. So guys, we have the driving seat of the all-new Tata Punch EV. And uh, since this is an electric vehicle, let me just start off with the motor specs. Obviously, this does not have an engine. So as far as the motor specs goes, this car is available in two variants. One is the regular Tata Punch EV and one is the Punch EV. LR stands for the long range. Now, let's talk about the motor first. So the motor uh, that you get in this the particular vehicle that we are driving is the LR. And the motor that you get is a 90 kilowatt hour motor. And uh, that motor produces around 190 Nm of peak torque. Now, the torque level is really nice and since it's an EV vehicle, so uh, what happens is that, uh, I mean, there is instant acceleration. You don't have any mechanical losses. So, I mean, the pickup is really, really nice. And you have three modes with it. You have, uh, the, when you switch on the car, it will be in a regular city mode. And then you have two buttons over here. One is the sport mode and the other one is your uh, uh, eco. So on eco, obviously, throttle control will be a little uh, laggy, will be a little uh, less. City mode is nice. Uh, sport mode is absolutely a different world. I mean, see right now I am switching to eco. So I have put eco mode and let me just floor it. So I have floored it. And it gradually, it, it's got a linear acceleration. Now let me put sport, same speed and let me floor it. Now you can see you have a pushback and after the pushback, the car actually just keeps on going. We've not checked the top speed yet, but yeah, definitely we touched um, 130 or 135. So maybe with the top speed must be around 150 or something must be electronically limited. So the top speed uh, will be slightly, uh, I mean, it will be uh, electronically uh, locked. And uh, once again, let me tell you another important thing that is there since it's an EV, that uh, the charging time that it takes. Now you get uh, three options. 
We get a standard charger with this. The standard charger is a 3.3 kilowatt charger, and that takes around 13.5 to 14 hours to charge your car completely from 10 to 100 percent. You have an additional uh, wall box mount that you can opt for, and uh, with that mount, uh, you can uh, reduce the charging uh, by say around uh, five to six hours. And uh, that thing is basically your 10 to 80 percent again. And last but not least, you have your uh, DC fast charging. Yeah, I mean, it says that it will charge the car from 10 to 80 percent in 56 seconds. That's just under an hour. So, yes, I mean, these are the charging facilities that you get with this particular car. So now comes the part where I tell you how much does it go on a full charge. Again, one of the major questions from an EV. Uh, so on a full charge, I mean the short range one, I mean the regular punch EV will go, it's claimed range around 315 um, and the LR, that's the long range one that we are driving today, the claim range is around uh, 421. Now the real world range, obviously we cannot test today because we are testing the cars. So I'm assuming that the real world range will be close to around 300, which is not at all bad. And uh, so yeah, that was the full, your uh, charging, your electric motor and the range that you get with this. So another major thing is that uh, this thing gets an arcade.ev. Uh, so it's an app where you basically can uh, play games and watch videos and uh, from YouTube and a lot of other apps. So that can only work when the car is stationary. So yeah, that was one missing point. Now coming back to the driving uh, thing. So the suspension is slightly on the stiffer side. I mean, it has been tuned accordingly because obviously you have the battery pack underneath. So it has been tuned according to the weight and the suspension feels very well balanced. It uh, gives you best of both worlds. But uh, I mean, yeah, it uh, takes over speed bumps and potholes. I mean, nicely. And plus, as I mentioned, you have 190 mm of ground clearance. So that should not be a problem. Now talk about the steering wheel, steering wheel is slightly on the stiffer side is what I personally like and the steering wheel does not change when you change the mode uh, on Eco, it, uh, it is not like it becomes a little light or on sport mode it becomes a little heavy. So yeah, steering wheel is nice and you only have a tilt option, you don't get a telescopic option. However, you get paddle shifters over here, now the paddle shifters are for the uh, region mode of this. So you have uh, basically four region where you have zero region, that's one mode. Then you have level 1, level 2 and level 3. So level 1 is the least and level 3 is where you can do a single uh, pedal driving. You don't need to put your foot on the brake all the time because obviously because of the region, uh, the car will stop on its own and obviously the battery will be charged a uh, little bit as you travel. Uh, another thing about the braking, so braking is nice. This particular model has uh, discs on all four ends and that's obviously because of the region also you have disc brakes. But in general, the disc brakes are really, really nice and uh, the car really stops when you want it to stop immediately. Uh, also, um, let's talk about the safety. First and foremost, the punch, the regular IC engine punch, uh, it actually got around a five star rating uh, in the global end cap and this will also receive around five star rating. Um, you have ABS, you have hill descent, you have uh, uh, traction control you have six airbags as standard. So yeah, I mean, safety wise, this car is very, very safe. Tata obviously has created a benchmark as far as safety goes in their vehicles. So yeah, so um, apart from this, guys, I mean, uh, it's, it's a pretty good vehicle. There is little less space at the back for passengers, but the front section is really nice. And uh, overall, it's a very good car. So if you're looking for a EV that has got a range of somewhere around, say around, 300 or maybe if you want a lesser version, maybe 250 uh, kilometers on a full charge um, with loaded features with everything, including a sunroof as well. So you should go definitely check out the all new Tata Punch EV. So yeah, guys, this was the all new Tata Punch dot ev and let me tell you the pricing of this vehicle once again so this vehicle is priced at rupees 10.99 lakh to 15.5 lakh x showroom and uh, once again this has five color options and this has around 20 variants with a mix and match of everything that you can get yes you heard me right it has got 20 variants and five color options and uh, yeah this is the car so if you need to know anything else about this electric vehicle please Hit us in the comment section and we will get back to you on that. Until then, if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to all our social media channels. I'm Pramit signing out. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, be safe and drive safe.